Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Affinity Photo and the Square Star Tool. Where you can find it, it's over here. So here's the Square Star just down here, Square Star Tool, and you can see all the different sort of designs you can create with that tool. So I've just got all these selected here and I'm going to delete them. They're all vector layers, they can be any size, they're pretty small, massive as well, and just going to delete those. Just quickly create another one there. So select that and you can see it's created this time with a gradient. Now you can modify the gradient, just go, go over here to the gradient tool and there it is. And what you can do, just quickly move that around. You see initially here it's radial, might be a solid colour for you, so there's solid colour. You might just have a solid colour, green, blue, red, etc. Also you just quickly go and change it to linear, elliptical, radial, conical, as well as bitmaps. You can bring a bitmap, a pattern design, an image file. You can bring that in and use that for this design here. Really super useful. Now what you can also do, you've got options here. I'm just going to go now with that. Go to the tool itself. So here's the tool. And then you can see up here, number of size. You can change that. So I'm just going to go for the max. That's 48. Also you can put it down to 3. So you can just vary it very quickly like that. Also what you've got is cut out. And you can go over there and you can set that, say, to nearly 1 or 2%. And you can see it's very, very, just little nicks in the thing. Also, you can go the other way, so you can make a really tense star like that. Also, you can just have it in the centre, about 50. Also, you can use this interactive. I love the interactive feature, so you can just move it up and down and just decide yourself what size. It's much easier in some ways than just using it here. What you can also do is you can keep it like that. Perfectly reasonable. You can then you can see over here. You can see it as a square star. Well, you can convert it to curves or path or outline, whatever you want to call it. You can go to over here to convert to curves. Just click that. So it's now what you can do. You can modify the nodes, the points of this. So all these are now accessible. Simply go over here to the node tool. There's the node tool, and you'll see suddenly you get all these little dots. And what you can do, you can model. There's a number of settings. I'm not going to go through those, but you can modify this star in lots of different ways. You can also add, so just simply click in between the middle, like go over here and click again, and you can see you can add another one, click, and so and so on. And you can also warp the design, move that around. So there's a whole range of different star designs you can quickly create using that. What you can also do, you can apply effects. You can go over here and simply go to a layers and there's effects down there. So simply go there and you can go to maybe outer shadow, very quickly add a quick shadow like that. Just set all those settings, outer shadow, click on, close. And of course there's other ones, outline, 3D, bevel, and all those sort of ones as well. Also what you can do, you can apply effects to this. Now as soon as you effects, it becomes a pixel layer, so it will no longer be a vector design. Also what you can do, and let's just quickly go back again to the square there. You've got that design. You can combine it with other shapes as well. So what you can do, simply just go over here to maybe go for ellipse. So select an ellipse. Got both of those. Select both of those in the layers. You can see both are selected now. Go to layer and you go to geometry and you can go for say add or subtract. I'm going to go for subtract. And you can see straight away you can create that design. But of course again it's just a curved design which of course what you can do go to the node tool and you can then modify the design again. So if you want to you can still continue to tweak the design in many different ways if you want to do that. Well hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.